started. He knows what it is. He knows it's not a real threat, but his little brain tells him he just can't help it. He's got to have a go at it. When he wakes up. Now, in the wild, most of what crocodiles get to eat will be around about this size anyway. You know, birds, turtles, fish. Uh, fish probably make up a great part of, of any crocodilian's diet. So for them, essentially, all they've got to do is grab it, crush it, chop, 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 soften it up a little bit. In the case of fish, turn it round so it's facing the right way because they've got spikes and they don't go down backwards too well. So when they grab those smaller prey items, all they simply got to do, all they simply got to do is crush, 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 expose to the sun. He uh, he copped a pretty bad case of sunburn, had blisters, white blisters on his back. So Malcolm brought him in, put him in in the enclosure with plenty of shade, slapped on a bit of the old SPF 15. Uh, didn't take too long and he healed up and he survived quite well. In fact, uh, when you clear the mud off his back, he doesn't have any scarring at all. Ready? I'm going to drop it. A little bit of dirt, that's like your roughage. Yeah. And even though they've got a program set up where they will trap them and remove them, yeah. I'll find most... On the cat there, you'll notice it's quite long and stretched out. With, high, with, um, with surprise being a hybrid, she actually has a stumpy rostrum.